sophomore at Bethel University, and I'm also in the athletic training program. And today I'll be telling you about the therapeutic modality of underwater ultrasound. I'll be telling you about the effects, the indications, the contraindications, and the precautions that go along with underwater ultrasound. First, the effects is basically what it does for you. It decreases the pain, increases blood flow and metabolism, and it promotes wound healing, tissue regeneration, and cell membrane permeability. Next, the indications is what it's used for. It's used for pain modulation, muscle spasm, trigger points, soft tissue repair, healing, and bone healing as well. And the contraindications is why you would not use this modality. You would not use it for acute and subacute thermal circulatory insufficiencies, uh, women who may be pregnant, or those uh, may have a pacemaker, uh, patients that may have cancer, um, infections. You would not use it over the eyes, the reproductive organs, or the pelvis immediately following menstruation. And precautions you should take while using this are epiphyseal areas in children, metal implants, um, decrease in temperature, sensation, as well as total joint replacement. And now I will ask my patient Kayla to come over here and we'll perform this modality. First, I'll introduce myself to the patient, explanation of the procedure and what the patient should expect while uh, performing this procedure of underwater ultrasound. Uh, first, I will set the parameters uh, to ultrasound. I will set the frequency to 3.3 megahertz since I'm using a superficial uh, injury such as the wrist. The duty cycle will be set to continuous and the treatment time will be three to seven minutes. And the water here is the coupling agent that we will be using today. And the water is set to body temperature at 98.6 degrees. And also while setting the parameters, you should set the, the intensity 50% higher than the normal ultrasound. So now I'll ask Kayla to place her hand to the water and I'll head and I will place into the water and I will start the modality and I will start into a circular motion keeping the ultrasound head 0 0.5 centimeters to 1 centimeter away from the skin and also the ultrasound head should be covering four centimeters per second. So I will continue this for three to seven minutes, applying this ultrasound head four centimeters away, or four centimeters per second. And after that, I will take the ultrasound head out, clean it off, Place it back over here. And I'll ask Kayla to remove her hand. Clean the patient off. Then I will turn the ultrasound off and I'll stop this. And after that, I will document the treatment appropriately. And that is how we perform underwater ultrasound.